Let me show you how we did the underslab plumbing for this building. I used strings and stakes to show where the walls would go. That way the plumbers know where to run their pipes. Everything laid off nicely. Starting at the sleeve and the foundation, the three inch drain line first caught the water fountains, then the kitchenette and first bathroom sink, next the second bathroom sink. We eld over for the toilets in both bathrooms and then wide off two inch pipe for both floor drains. We also crossed over with a two inch line to the mop sink. Everything drains to the front of the building where it will tie into the street. I used a mini excavator with a one foot bucket to dig the deepest part. I taped a one inch block at the end of my four foot level. That way I can check to see that I have a quarter inch per foot fall as I dig my ditch. The plumbers start at the front of the building where the ditch is the deepest and work their way up, making sure the prime and glue every joint. They had to do some hand digging to adjust the ditch to make sure they maintain the correct fall. You can see here where they put in one of the floor drains. They glued on test caps and I used a pump and a tank in the back of my truck to fill the entire system with water for inspection. We filled this 10 foot tall pipe all the way to the top with water. Here's the layout. This two inch electrical conduit goes from the sub panel to the main service. Then a floor drain for the water heater and the three quarter inch water line that comes in from the outside of the building. Next we have a vent for the floor drain. This is a stub up for the toilet in the first bathroom a sink drain, toilet for the second bathroom, a floor drain for the HVAC system, another vent, and the second bathroom sink and also the kitchenette sink drain. Here's where we branched off with a two inch line for the mop sink. Then there's a drain for the high and low water fountains. And then finally through the foundation sleeve to the outside. We put the water line in conduit and you can see here where it exits under the footer below the frost line. This is a second water line that will go to the other end of the building. After inspection, I used my laser level to mark the top of the concrete floor on the drain. Then the plumbers cut an additional inch off. This way after they glue on the drain, it will be a half inch lower than the floor. We cover the drains with tape so no concrete gets in them. I take my rake out and start filling in around the pipes. I had left all the joints uncovered for the inspector to see. That way he knew everything was primed and glued. I used my vent track to get rid of some of the bigger rocks that were in the way and brought in a couple scoops of crushed stone to fill in where the dirt had been taken out. Everything's graded back level and smooth. Now we're ready to put down vapor barrier and rebar.